After watching this video, you have learned something about Rhino curve orientations and how to use linear and aligned dimension components to create automatic dimensions. Components can be found in the Rhino tabs annotations section. I will be covering the basic usage of the components here and I will do another video to go through the formatting settings as they are quite extensive. I know you like examples, so let's get straight to it. This is the script that we'll be using. I have drawn a precast concrete element here that we want to dimension. Let's start with the aligned dimension. I'm using the query model objects component to get the curves from Rhino to Grasshopper. I'm then using a discontinuity to find the kinks in the curve and I'm shifting the point list with the shift list component. Note that the wrap is set to true. The aligned dimension component creates the dimension between two points. So we are using these point lists to create the dimensions. The aligned dimension also needs a plane. We have drawn on the XY plane in Rhino, so in this case we can leave the input empty. But then of course if you want your dimensions to be visible from the side view, you need to use for example the XZ plane. Let's enable the component. The last input that we are using is the offset. This determines how far from the base curve the dimensions are offset to. Now let's go to the linear dimension. The linear dimension also uses the same two point inputs to create the dimensions. This part of the script is exactly the same as with the aligned dimension. Instead of the offset input, the linear dimension uses a baseline that it projects the dimension to. In this case I have used the offset curve component to create an offset around all the curves in my Rhino model. Like this. I have then exploded the curves to segments and used these segments as the baselines. You can leave the baseline input empty but then the dimension is applied directly between the two points that you are measuring the distance between. I think you noticed that when we used the aligned dimension we got some of our dimensions on the inside of the element. This is because of the curve orientation. Closed curves have a curve orientation type, which is determined by the curve parametrization, and you might need some system to flip the curves that are reversed compared to your needs regarding the offsets. If you want to learn about the orientation, you can use a point list, and then you can follow the numbers. I noticed that the windows that I drew with the rectangle tool have different orientation than the boundary polyline. So I made this part of the script that will flip all the curves that are not inside another curve. So in this case, curves that have at least one of their points inside another curve are not flipped. I again got the curve points with the discontinuity component and defined the point relationship to the curves with the point in curve component. I used a Python script to search through the branches and create a dispatch pattern to sort out the curves. I then flipped the curves that I wanted and merged the two curve lists back together. If we connect this merged list back to this continuity component here, you can see that the orientation of the curve on the outside changes. Our two dimension components are now creating practically identical solutions. Now if we want, we can start copying our element or creating a new one from scratch, it doesn't matter. Our dimensioning will automatically update. As usual, I hope you learned something and if you did, I hope you liked the video and subscribe to the channel.